Let's just pretend like we Sorry. like each other. All right. <laughs> Start recording on that. <laughs> uh, just do the yawn first and then. Yeah. There it is. There it is. <laughs> and that's our opener. <laughs> I'm here with Paula Deming. Hi. And Katrina Alicia. Hello. So you may recognize these two outside of here. On our other series, we watch Who? Who? <laughs> the Doctor. The Doctor. <laughs> and we have some big news, which I'm sure you've already heard, but we wanted to talk about it real quick, give our insights, our input. James Gunn <laughs> has been reinstated. <laughs> to Disney. They are allowing him to direct the final Guardians, or at least the third, Guardians of the Galaxy. Because how could you have anyone else? The way he kind of took those characters and what they were in the comic series and then kind of shaped them into something that works really well within the cinematic universe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where we're at in the times and like how he adjusted some of those characters to be with the time. Like it's just- And he made them more charismatic, more interesting. Able more... to empathize with them better. Right. Like and just like fun. <laughs> Yes. A conservative political journalist, mm -hmm. Mike Cernovich, who tweets a lot, he did not agree with much of what James Gunn was saying. Square jaw, wonderful hair, of course you hate me. James Gunn was tweeting um, like political, kind of more liberal leaning political. Yes, and, uh, and so that views. went against Mike Cernovich's views himself. So he decided to do some digging, which shouldn't have been hard because James Gunn has never really been secretive about this. In fact, he never hid it. He ever. straight up apologized before Disney even hired him to begin Guardians. He is definitely grown. He's become a stronger, better person. Those movies reflect it. They're very different movies from what he did earlier. Mostly tweets of James Gunn, you know, doing the whole like shock the value. The shock value of yeah, saying things the trauma about type movies. molestation and rape. Yeah. Really like being a provocateur in his yes. filmmaking mm -hmm. and yeah. getting attention, which it did. isn't okay. You know, it's the things he was they saying, were some bad tweets. we should be clear, right. are not okay. Right. And he shouldn't have tweeted them, much like many people shouldn't tweet things. Yeah. But he did apologize before Disney hired. When he himself, like, and his morals noticed where he was, and he was like, I don't agree right. with that anymore. I don't resonate with that anymore. There are right. different things I want to move on to and have visions about. It yeah. takes a lot for someone to own up to that ignorance and own up yeah. to that type of past life. And, and that's all you can really ask of a person, too, because everyone makes mistakes and everyone grows. And all you can ask of someone, especially in this time where we're all trying to, like, face our own privilege, mm -hmm. yeah. is to recognize how you've maybe been wrong in the past and just try try to be better. There is room for forgiveness. I know yes, it doesn't feel that way these days, but there absolutely is room for forgiveness if you're really sorry and you actually take credit for the wrongdoing you the did. The responsibility yeah. of right. your actions. And I think that's what makes this James Gunn situation different because he did take responsibility. He didn't put blame off on anyone else. and after. When yeah. Sonovich dug these things back up and put them back out there, he took responsibility again. Again. Like, yeah, I was wrong. I said these things. This is on me. I'm, I'm not, not that different person now. anymore. I'm so sorry, and I think that that makes this different. Disney is out a lot of money without James Gunn. When he introduced the Marvel Cinematic Universe to the Guardians, they were expecting a drop a in the bucket. We won't give you a huge budget. Yeah, they did they, for volume two, but not for They volume released one. the first one in August, mm -hmm. right? Like, Which is dead season. <laughs> It's the movie, it's like the they time were not you expecting. put movies out that people don't see things. Yeah, because of that and because of him and where he took that direction, they're involved in the Avengers. I mean, it's huge. It's a huge franchise they, now. Exactly, It's yeah. grown and blossomed into just such a bigger thing than they ever because expected Guardians it to be. Because Guardians is a big money maker. There was always going to be a Guardians Volume 3. They were going to try to find a way to make it work. There was rumors of Taika Waititi taking over. Ultimately, like, no matter who you threw at them, every director even said, nope, I know who'd be great. James Gunn. A lot of people, I'm sure, are going to be outraged. People always have a reason to complain, but I do personally think that there is no one better to direct a third movie for that. He's apologized. He's taken responsibility. It's a different situation. And I want to be clear. It's not just like, oh, separate the the person from the art. Oh, can we still enjoy the Cosby Show now that we know about Bill Cosby? In my opinion, you can't really separate the person from their art. But again, I just want to be clear. James Gunn has taken responsibility and has made efforts to change, and that's all you can ask of a person and that's why I think Ever this is change. totally different from those other situations yeah. of people that were like oh maybe we don't well then 
want to engage in their work anymore. And like also, James Gunn wasn't the only person at that time using shock value. So many other people playing into that and there are so many of those people who don't own up to it in the same way, who have just kind of covered it up and kind of don't talk about it. And he owned up to it from right. the start. I might be alone in this and I'm just speaking from a conservative You're about to find out position. if you're alone on this couch, I don't know. <laughs> if Roseanne Barr, for example, after she tweeted what she did, if she had actually attempted to undo what she had done or uh, truly apologize or take ownership or try to make a difference, if she took serious action to right yeah. her wrongs, she could have fixed it. Maybe not right away. Obviously, this took a Things while. Take for time. Gone. I will forgive no matter what political side you are on or what your messed up views are or whatever it is, if you truly do something to right your wrongs. And mm -hmm. James Gunn has more than done that this entire time. Yeah, before he was ever given the opportunity, after he was given the opportunity. He's continued to be strong through the whole thing, be cool about the entire thing, and just be respectful. Also, like, growing up in a conservative state, there's things where I didn't see it in that way, you know? It was just my life, and there were things mm -hmm. that I thought were okay, and I grew up, and I realized, and I stepped out, and I saw, like, these things aren't okay. I need to own up to this. I need to do my best to listen to see how I can help the community. What can I do? Do to change and prove myself mm -hmm. and accept the responsibility of a past mm -hmm. that I don't necessarily agree with in some levels. Yeah. And I think anybody is capable of that. Yeah. I think Disney's action to fire him initially, I understood we it understand. because Disney is a family company. They don't want to be associated with something like that. Marvel was probably not super keen on it. Disney has to do what Disney has to do. I mean, this they is have a part of their brand. It's mm -hmm. who they are. They have secondary brands that are not associated with them just so that they can do that sort of stuff. Even Deadpool, we've been in discussion about how it's the most successful Fox Marvel franchise. Are they going to bring them in the MCU? And the honest truth is probably not because it doesn't mm. fit in with the MCU safer, Feel. safer, yeah. mostly safer family viewing. Experience. Mostly, yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. We understand that because again, it's like you said, they're business. The fact that it took on this long of a time, it was very upsetting. I'm very glad that they're going in this direction now, but it's a glorious day for someone like me, a huge Marvel fan. It's a glorious day <laughs> and my spirits uh. are high and regardless of what your political views are, I'm sure you're excited that we're gonna have the same kind of feel that Guardians 3 should have. Yes. Even if you don't like James Gunn, you have to admit, if you like Guardians, this is a great It's a good day. move. It's yeah. a good movie. Right. And the cast, the way they work together, you can just tell there's that family vibe and just like, I'm, uh. Let's just be excited that we're gonna get a, a good really good Guardians movie. 3. Yeah. Ooh, I'm kind of getting excited now. <laughs> Katrina, what do you think will happen in Guardians 3? It's gonna be lots of space exploring for sure. I know what's gonna happen. Ooh. Star Lord is going to buy Capitol Records and mm. just start putting out nothing but mixtapes. Yes. Actually, that's the whole movie. That's, that's the basically whole a mashup movie. of Capitol Records and, <laughs> and Guardians of the Galaxy. You're welcome, James Gunn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're. You? Yeah, I agree with all of that. <laughs> you can check them out on this channel every Thursday and Friday. Yeah. You're Gallifrey gals. That's right. Yep. We're here for you two days a week now. Two days. And I'm on every other show on this channel, so Good. check me out anytime. This was awesome to have both you guys yeah. on the show, although you're technically you're a co-host. You're here, but <laughs> this is my first time being here. This is first so time Paula. Paula's like, first fan Last here. time Exciting. we had Paula on the show, it was the 2018 wrap-up where I described oh, her face. Oh, you just did a little. Well, yeah, I did a little <laughs> an impression of my face with your hands. Yeah, it's, it's very like, this realistic. Is Paula. Now she's here. <laughs> this, this is my fan theory. What's, theory. What's yours? What's up, fellow fans? If you like what you see here, make sure you like, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified of future episodes. Join the fandom at patreon.com slash fantheorytv for exclusive and early access to full-length reactions, unaired and unblocked episodes, and so much more. You're curious. Admit it. And that ain't no theory.